I am uh, a little obsessive. Uh, it's been three episodes, so uh, it's Moon Knight era. Uh, my sword's a fist. Uh, anyway, uh, that, that was just a cool way to show y'all that... Uh, if you didn't know, uh, Moon Knight is now streaming on Disney Plus, and if you haven't watched it, go and watch it right now. It is way too good for you to not watch. But, anyways, hello everybody, and welcome back to a, uh, beautiful, I guess, morning on Copper Creek, where today, um, actually, my goal is to get the entire exterior of the Mega Base complete, because off-camera, like I promised, I have finished the rest of the walls, so it actually looks a lot better than it did before. I actually think it looks great, plus the detailing at the top, and then I also outlined where I want some buildings in the bottom, but so think of this, we have the buildings right there, the globe on top, and then the terraforming just that little bit, and we're done. We are officially going to be done with the exterior of the part one. And then we can do the inside, uh, that may, that probably will take like a week or two, and then we can move on to Zon. And I could work on them both at the same time, because actually, Nico and I have been discussing, maybe we could team up and make this uh, Zon her mega base as well, and like, we could share it. But, we'll see, because I that was originally going to be a mega base for her, but she kind of lost interest in doing it because it required a lot of quartz, even though, I mean, mine's a bunch of quartz, and like you know so yeah we 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 might be getting some help and i actually would really hope so because zon is going to require a lot of you know digging down and getting an entire like man-made cave ready unless there's a cave underneath and that i just never saw it but um yeah also, really quickly, just to show you guys, uh, before we get on with the video, uh, the trading hall has gone through a little bit of new things as well. You can see some stuff has moved around. We finally have some villagers in here that can breed, so we can start making more, and you're like, why would you make more? There's no more room. Well, uh, we've expanded because we've, i hello? Never mind. Uh, we've actually, we have two spots right here, and then we actually have this entire new corridor section. We even have some ones. We even moved Gerald here. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of room for a lot more villagers, and this could be a very, very big deal. So, yeah. Uh, the trading hall and basically all of Cult of the Shire is coming along pretty nicely. Uh... Uh, Davin is gonna get on at some point. He's been really busy with school and he hasn't really gotten to continue his uh, starter base, which honestly, that might just become his mega base. I might just tell him, like, make it your mega base as well. But he'll be on soon. But I am happy because as soon as we added uh, our good friend Weston, everyone is back. Now, not right now because it's a little late at night, so they're all asleep. But uh, last episode, you guys can see, we had a ton of people back on the server, and it felt like, you know, it felt refreshed after when I went on the YouTube break, basically everyone disappeared for a little bit. So I think taking the break was good for all of us, and now we're all back and we're ready to conclude the season, because right now, I'm telling you right now, season five is going to be magnificent. The people who are joining that season are all very nice people, and, um, we might even have, um, we might even have, uh, someone special join that sort of season as well, but I'm not gonna give that away yet, but, um, yeah. And then also, last but not least, before the episode can rightfully begin and we can go do a lot of stuff, um, Sam and I's wood shop has opened... As you can see, it's basically a tree stump. It looks a lot better from the top. Cole agreed. When you get to the bottom, it kind of looks like a weird, like, wooden cave. But I think it looks cool. And it serves all types of wood and then sandstone for uh, Andrew for his mega base. He specifically requested this. But interior is pretty, pretty average. But I think uh, exterior-wise, we did a pretty nifty job with that. 
And then also, you guys are not going to believe this, but people are buying here. For the first time since like three months ago, when this place is built, we finally had some... We got we got half a stack of diamonds. Someone bought from our shop. I, I cannot believe it, but somebody did. Somebody bought from Cass's shop. The Federation's been making money. They're probably the only people that actually got some stuff. These two shops aren't even ready. Uh, it's kind of sad, but... My moss hut even generated two diamonds. I know that doesn't sound like much, but someone did actually, in fact, buy from here. I think there's still... Yeah, 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 right here. I just... Wow. I'm, like... It just it feels so nice and refreshed to see that people are actually doing their thing. But, okay, without further ado, let's get this episode started so that we can actually go do some things. So, uh, let's fly away and... Uh, there's no moon, but we can fly up... Uh, Moon Knight style. Okay. What the? Nick's at our base. Nick's at our base. Nick. 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 Mine, coal, mine. What are you doing? Nick, what are you doing? Nick, what are you doing? Okay. I didn't say we were gonna kill him, but still, what are you doing? How did you... Do you not know how to get out? Dave... Bro. Davin's pit, there's an exit. We followed you because we were suspicious. A little suspicious like the hit game among us. Alright, just follow, follow me. We'll just go straight. Well, any... Okay, I, I really don't want to, Cole. You can do that. I'm not going to do that. What we are going to do, though... What? No. What we are going to do next, hopefully, unless Cole, like, pushes me away from this, is that we are going to finish the mega base, or at least the exterior, because all I have to do is the globe, the little buildings around it, and then terraform this little section right here, and boom, the exterior is complete. And then we'll be able to not only start the interior, but we will also be able to do the... Uh, building that will lead down to Zond. All right, so I have everything cur uh, ready to go, and uh, this is basically the last bit of things I have to do. I already set up the uh, thing to get around so that it's just easier to build the globe, uh, and I have a little bit of the wood ready, but really, like, I I'm being honest with you guys, uh, besides... Uh, all I have to do is the globe, uh, the little buildings around this, terraform, and the exterior is finished. And then we can move on to interior, and then we'll be at the end of the season because uh, we we have less than a month to do this. It's actually very close. It's like 27 days until the season's over. So it's like ride or die basically so we got to get a lot of this done but without further ado uh let's go ahead and get this thing done <laughs>
Well, guys, we did it. Um, after what seemed like forever, uh, the exterior of my mega base is complete. We're done. The only thing left is the interior, and then the season's over. But yeah, look how good that looks. I was, okay, so I was actually like kind of shocked at how good this looked. The terraforming looks really natural, and then the top bit just looks great. Also, I'm still on the, uh, the client that like records. So if it looks, if I, I'm not wearing any armor, it's because of that, but we'll switch back when it's, when I, uh, finish dealing with all of that, but yeah. Uh, and I'll zoom in later, but the globe I got correct. I have the thing around it and then the buildings around it are all done. I'm very proud of this guys. And <laughs> I can take a break. Uh, th this took me uh, about an hour and a half to do, so uh, yeah. We, I mean, we can fly up really quick, and I can show you. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Oh, there we go. Server lag. Oh, but you can see up here that uh, it looks like a globe. I think up here actually looks more circular. Uh, and I was contemplating putting, like, aged copper, but I think having it look like that is better. And the buildings down here all are just, like, kind of, like, just for decoration. There's not going to be anything inside of them. But, yeah, overall, I think this build turned out really well. And I'm very excited to start the interior because that's going to be a lot easier than this because we had to get the facade up this should not take me longer than at least like two to three weeks which is good so latest will be that we're finishing this like as the final week happens but i think we'll be able to get zon in if and zon's not even that big the last thing i need to do exterior wise which i'll do this later is i just need to be make a bridge and i i can do that off camera that's not something that you guys need to see uh because it's not that interesting because if you've already seen me uh, do a bridge and that bridge would be uh, right here so this really isn't that interesting so I don't think there really is a reason as to why so anyways uh, for now we're, we can move on to I need to go get some levels because I need to uh, get some things organized and then later on tonight I believe Animal Crossing is starting their event so we can see exactly what they're doing there but yeah so we can move on to there so, uh, scrap the thing about going to get enchantments because, uh, Elizabeth is on, and I completely forgot, also that might have been super loud, so sorry, I completely forgot that we have a lush cave base to work on, and honestly, with the shortened amount of time, tonight is probably the best night to even get started on that, so, uh, I've got some chests with me, and just to be sure... Uh, I think we're gonna need to grab some materials, but I think that the last time that her and I were there, uh, I, I think we got all the stuff, but to be just safe, uh, I'm gonna bring some glass, uh, because, like, why not? I'm gonna bring some exotics, as in such, like, nether, uh, things, because it could look good in a, in a cave. I'm gonna bring some warped crimson, uh, basalt could be good here. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I just, just stuff like this will just make the place seem a lot more alive, and I think this could be a good idea, so, so let's head over and say hello to her so that we can get started. Where is she? Where are you? Oh, there she is. I'm at the cave. Hello. Hey. You're speaking in game. I'm, what? Oh, you just mute yourself in game. Where's the... Hold on. I know how this works, I think. No. Which one is it? Oh, it's V. There we go. A lot better. I'm just... Play, yeah, these are... If you have an extra one, I have one more. There. Oh, perfect. We can do clay on the bottom, and then mossy stuff in the middle, and then cobble at the top. Yeah, this is good. Or, like, All mossy right. cave stuff. You know what I mean? So, essentially what we're thinking is we're going to have hanging buildings from the vines and like some like cute little bridges uh i even suggested we have like a geoid house somewhere and then geoid we... house. i know uh up here 
is where the entrance is going to be. We're going to have to like X. We've already cleared a lot of stuff out, but well, how, I, a, what, yeah. what did you, what did we say? I think we said we were going to do, we're going to do a boat, like, like a entrance. boat, like, yeah, it'll be like a river and then you're going to fall down and you'll enter the cave. Yeah, this will be really cool. Well, also, I guess you and I could offer maybe like one or two like shops maybe, but to be fair, we're going to have this done like right before the season ends. So this is probably just like a you and me thing and then people can come over and see it and then we're going to have to, you know. For the Great War, this could be our little hideout. This could. Oh, we can make it like a base kind of. Also, like uh, by base. the way, y'all's event is tomorrow. It was going to be today. It was going to be today, but Cole uh, left, and he he's going somewhere where we'll have a computer, but um, I postponed it. Plus, uh, later tonight, I'm going to DM you all of you and be like, get ready, because it, <laughs> it's tomorrow. Yeah, this. What I'm really thinking pretty. is we'll make, like, a bottom floor. Like, you see, like, that, like, bottom-ish. We'll, like, flatten this part out, and then this can be, like, a ring around it. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? Mm-hmm. So gonna I'm going to, like... Yeah, we're going to have to clear out a lot of stuff, because this is... Yeah. Yeah. I also All that, think like, this... water, we're going to have to... Mm-hmm. This little alcove could easily be a house. Oh, like, yeah. that easily. You told me to keep that. Yeah, I know. If we did, like, make this, like, a ring... Like, you see how I've, like, started to, like... We could make, like, little, like, individual little caves or, like, aquariums. Mm-hmm. For like named axolotls if we wanted to yeah we can get started on this uh so we'll cut back in a few seconds uh to sh when we're done clearing out a bunch of land but yeah for now uh we'll be back okay so to show you guys what we have done so we cleared out this little tunnel so that just we have a lot more like open space for you to walk around and then what i did was i wanted to keep the clay like water but i wanted to expand it so that it just felt more spacious and like you know nice to be around so i think i did a good job uh elizabeth what have you been doing over here have you just been doing more of the tunnel yeah i've just been kind of like making it go at least to the end yeah and then you i know? mean we can i'm fine with the sizes of these like these can stay it just i feel like we need to clear out some of the plants Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, we could, like, have, like, railings, maybe, and have this be, like, preserved. Also, like, because we don't need to mm -hmm. use up all the space. I feel mm -hmm. like what we've cleared is good, so. Anyways, we're going to get back to another, so I'll just do a space. Oh! Okay, so, I'll be completely honest with you guys. It is day two, and... Or it's, it's the day after and nobody's on because it's super early. But I, f I realized I forgot because I got so caught caught up with talking to people that uh, we, we still got some work done. I'll show you guys exactly. I think we've gotten all the land we've wanted cleared out. Um, the tunnel is super just the pathways for where we're going to have walkways and stuff. Uh, the pool is looking good. Um... She also cleared out a bunch of stuff over there. Like, do you see there's a little underpass? The, just keeping it open, but also not removing any of the overgrowth keeps it, like, it'll be able for people to live here, but without disrupting the actual nature. As you can see down here, uh, she has an entire area set up uh, just to, like, I guess, block off the cave so that we can do some other stuff over here. But overall... I think we have a good starting point to where we'll actually be able to start putting buildings in here, hopefully by next episode. Uh, but actually, unfortunately, this is where the episode is going to end. And by the way, this is the shortest episode I've ever released. Now, I'm sorry for the delay. And also last week's episode was very technically flit flawed with the ending cutting off. And I didn't even realize uh, when I was publishing the video. I'm very sorry. Um, and the fact that a lot of the quality was very blurry so hopefully this week's episode is uh good i'll make sure before it releases that it is up to quality up to standard that i want you guys to have because i don't want you guys watching crap so um yeah so i will probably film bits and pieces of the animal crossing event uh if i do get around to that 
I will probably also be uh, starting the interior, or at least getting a layout off camera, but the interior is something I want for you guys to see. And then also I'll gather Nico up so that we can decide what we're going to be doing about Zahn, because Zahn and the interior have to both to be on at the exact same time, considering the fact that we are nearing the final few episodes. I plan on only having about maybe three more that includes the finale and the finale and the episode before that are going to be massive because we're going to have a big final event and i'm going to make sure every single person who was on the season is in this event i will literally i will force them into it but other than that thank you guys so much for all the support hopefully uh you guys have seen that my twitch is about to hit affiliate if you guys want to come over and support me there that'd be great but other than that i shall see you guys later so peace out